Hello, today we will talk about visual effects for our scene. The first visual effect is Bloom. It creates this interesting blurred light or neon effect in places where the light is very bright. First, let's go to the export settings and set the Use HDR rendering checkmark on. By default, the light brightness is maximum set to 1, and this checkmark removes this restriction. So the bloom effect will work much better. Alright, let's export everything. Then let's go to Puzzles. And here we need to go to Post Processing Puzzles group and select Bloom Puzzle. If we start it right away, you can see how bloom works. The bright parts are now shinier. But not only that, the buttons are now shiny too and we don't want that. To fix this we need to set the threshold parameter. That is basically the border of brightness for bloom. More threshold means less bloom sensitivity. So let's try moving the threshold value to find the perfect setting. It seems that 2.2 works best. Also we have strength parameter and radius parameter. Let's also set them up a little bit. Something like that. Ok, much better. The next effect that we will use in our scene is anti-aliasing. It smooths out some not very good looking artifacts. For example, here we can see this pixelated staircase. Anti-aliasing will help with that. So we need to go to Scenes group and here we need disable rendering puzzle with anti-aliasing checkbox. This effect needs a lot of computational power, so it is better to apply it after the render is off. So if I drag and drop it here and start the logic, as you can see the render stopped, but the scene became very smooth. To turn the rendering back on, I will use the Enable Rendering Puzzle from the same group. So the rendering started again. Alright, now let's set up these puzzles. We will start rendering when there is movement on a scene, and when the scene is still, the render will stop and the anti-aliasing will start working. For that, we need Puzzle When Moved from the group Events. We will be looking at camera, when it is moving or not. From the group camera slides we need the puzzle active camera. Let's place it here. And when camera is moving, I will start rendering. And when camera will stop moving, I will stop the rendering. Also we need to disable rendering right after the application started, so let's place it here. Now let's save the logic and reload the app. Ok, anti-aliasing is working and when movement starts, the rendering starts as well. But aside of the camera movement, we have animation. And it will work incorrectly, because we have set incorrectly the disable rendering puzzle. And on top of that we have material change. So let's set everything up correctly. First of all, let's create a variable camera moving. With condition false. So the camera is not moving. Let's move these puzzles aside for now. And inside when moved puzzle, we will be changing this variable condition. When camera moves, the variable condition changes to true, and when it stops, it changes to false. Now we need to put these puzzles into another puzzle every frame, so they will be checked on each frame. Also we will need logical operator if and the condition equal which will be checking on our variable, camera moving. If the variable is true, the camera is moving, then it will start the rendering. 
Now let's also add else. So when the camera moving variable will be false, it will stop the rendering. Alright, now let's move it a bit. Now let's press play and save and reload the app. Ok, now everything works just like it worked before. If true then rendering is enabled, if false anti-aliasing is working. And now let's add another variable, which will be called animation playing. On the application start the animation is not playing, so the initial condition will be false. Let's take this puzzle and put it inside the when clicked structure. So when we click on unfold knife button and start animation, this variable will change to true. And after the animation stops, so in when finished do, the variable will be set back to false. Also, inside the if puzzle, we need to add another condition. Let's add AND from the puzzles group, then combine it like this, and in the second variable target, let's change camera moving to animation playing, and set it to true. And now we need to change AND to OR. So when camera is moving or the animation is playing, the rendering starts, and under any other conditions, it stops. Ok, let's save and relaunch the application. And let's test our logic. So when camera is moving or the animation is playing, the render is on. But when the scene comes still, the render stops and the anti-aliasing starts to work. Everything works as intended. And now we need to do the same, but for the materials change. So, by the same principle, let's create another variable and call it material changing. Initial condition for this variable will also be false. And the variable will be changing inside the when clicked puzzles, which are assigning materials. So here let's add the puzzle which changes the variable to true, also here and here as well. But here with materials changing, we don't have the when finished option. So we will need to do it another way. Let's give the material a little bit of time to change and then we will change the variable back to false. Let's give it 0.2 seconds, that will be enough. And here goes the puzzle for changing variable back to false. Let's also copy it in other material puzzles. Also let's add another condition for our if slot. Set it to OR and add our new variable to be checked. So, material changing, true. Now when we change the material, the render will start and then stop. Ok, and now everything is done. Let's save it, reload the scene. Let's check the animation. And let's check the material change. Alright, everything works. When the scene is still, the render stops and anti-aliasing starts working. Ok, that's all, see you in the next tutorial.